A patient has been admitted for hematemesis, vomiting of blood. Endoscopic examination reveals bleeding esophageal varices resulting from portal obstruction. These varices represent anastomoses between branches of which of the following? Pause and answer the question. Obstruction of the portal vein results in an increase in the collateral circulation between veins that normally drain to the portal vein and those that drain to the systemic veins. Choices A, B, D, and E all represent possible collateral venous circulation in case of portal obstruction. Choice A is rare because the ductus venosus closes after birth. Choice B is correct because varicose veins in this region give rise to esophageal varices. Choice D results in varicose veins in the rectal region. Choice C is incorrect as there is no connection between the right gastric vein and the inferior vena cava. In choice E, enlargement of the epigastric veins results in varicose veins radiating from the umbilicus. An 8 to 5 year old male is brought to your office by his wife. She complains that his memory has been gradually getting worse and that he has difficulty buttoning his shirt. On interviewing him, you find that he has trouble finding words. Which drug is contraindicated for his condition? Pause and answer the question if you can. Here, the correct answer is benzodiazepine. This patient has symptoms consistent with Alzheimer's disease. He has memory impairment, apraxia, and difficulty finding words. Drugs given to delay the progression of disease are calling esterase inhibitors, dompazil, rivastigmine, Valantamine and NMDA antagonists, memantine. Benzerpine is a muscarinic acetylcholine receptor antagonist. Although Parkinson's disease is not well understood, it is clear that benzerpine should not be used in conjunction with any of the cholinesterase inhibitors.